Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super 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 exciting video to show you guys and I'm really really excited to make this video. So I am actually writing a book and the book is called Princess and Coffee Girl and it's about a princess and a coffee girl <laughs> and I'm drawing the princess right now and I don't want to give too much away about the book but I do want to tell you guys about it but I also want to do it in like installments so for this video I'm just going to introduce my main characters and the first character I'm going to introduce to you is Princess so her name is actually Princess Penelope and if you watch my live streams you will recognize this character her name used to be Melissa but I changed it to Penelope um, but she was actually born from a live stream and I was just kind of dinking around and doodling and I came up with this character and with the help of my live stream fam I was able to create this whole runaway one away I cannot say words runaway princess character that kind of like festered in my brain and evolved into this whole idea for an entire novel so um, I'm finally getting down to it and fleshing out the characters and the storyline and the plot and everything so like I said this is Princess Penelope she is a princess from a faraway make-believe land that doesn't really exist in the real world but basically it's closed off from the rest of the world and they just kind of exist in their own little bubble so Penelope is I'm not even gonna lie she's not a great person <laughs> I love her so much don't get me wrong she's my baby but she's also incredibly selfish incredibly vain uh, very self-centered uh, she's not responsible at all and all of this leads up to her actually running away from her home and her kingdom to basically do whatever the heck she wants because she doesn't want to be a princess and she doesn't want to deal with the responsibilities of being a princess so she abandons her family and all of her responsibilities and escapes to America and she ends up taking a boat to the land of ports as she calls it which is actually Portland Oregon and she has no idea how to navigate like American society like she's the most clueless naive she'll believe anything anyone tells her she's like starry-eyed she has no idea what's going on but she's just happy to be gone from her home so eventually she meets up with coffee girl who you saw on the next page of this who I will be introducing after this video so anyway through fate or chance or what have you she meets coffee girl whose name is actually Haley and Haley owns a coffee shop in Portland with her mom and through circumstances she offers Penelope a job at the coffee house because you know Penelope needs a place to work and a place to sleep so Haley offers her a job and the spare room in her apartment in return for well basically Penelope pays off all of the debt that Haley is in unknowingly it's kind of confusing but <laughs> I don't want to give too much away from the actual story just yet but what ends up happening they end up living together and working at the coffee shop and I'm just the book is just pretty much about their adventures and how Penelope kind of like acclimates to American society because like I said she's absolutely clueless and Haley thinks it's hilarious because like she's just ridiculous like the first time she meets Haley she thinks she's like some kind of warrior princess because Haley has like gauges in her ears and her hair is bright pink so Penelope obviously assumes that Haley's some kind of warrior like person to you know be brave enough to put holes in her ears and dye her hair such an alarming color and of course Haley just eats it up and thinks it's just the most hilarious thing in the world and she messes with her all the time and Haley is actually the one that also chops half of Penelope's hair off because um, as Haley puts it she's always wanted an undercut but her hair is too thin and Penelope has the most beautiful luscious curly thick whatever hair so she's like you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna chop your hair off and then she does um, anyway I'm kind of rambling at this point but I really love these characters and I'm really excited to start writing about them and I hope you guys like them I do want to tell you guys more about the story and I'm gonna introduce Haley in another video because she's her own character I love her too but 
Anyway, so yeah, these are my characters. I love them a lot. I hope you guys like them too. And stay tuned for more updates about how the novel is going. I haven't decided if I want to publish it or not. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think it's more just a personal project, but if you guys are interested, I might make a round of like self-published books, but that'll come. I need to actually write the story first. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys have an excellent day, and I will see you next week. Bye!